Well, hello there! It's that time again! Yes, it is time for the blog that truly blazes here on this beautiful day of the Spring Equinox. Yes, yay, Spring Equinox, March the 20th, March the 20th, <laughs> I was going to say March the 30th, <laughs> racing ahead, March the 20th of 2017, this beautiful Monday afternoon. And as usual, I'm going to go over the energies of the end of last week's reading, what we're coming into now, and of course, what always most interesting, what lies ahead of us towards the end of this upcoming week. So do stay tuned in. It is interesting and really peaceful, actually. Okay, the first card is the last card of the previous week's reading. Now, this card, very appropriately, was lust or strength. Now, the lust isn't sex lust, okay? It's a lust for life. It's ruled by Leo. Leo was strong, forceful, proud, ruled by the sun. And here we are, spring equinox, the day that the sun enters Aries. Yes, time for spring cleaning, time for new beginnings, time for a greater state of balance. Because that's what an equinox is, an equal amount of daylight and nighttime as the sun enters a cardinal sign of Aries. So this is a wonderful time for making new beginnings, spring cleaning, and planning ahead. But definitely action is called for at this time, and we can do so with confidence, with strength, and great personal empowerment. And as this week progresses, our spirituality, our sense of life's course, is going to deepen and mature, as we'll see in the next card. That's right. The card for the present, what we're coming into now, is the Ace of Cups. Oh, lovely. I love this card. It's a beautiful card of the Holy Spirit, of the Divine Nature. Uh, many depictions of this card. It shows the Dove, the Holy Spirit, descending down into the cup. The spirit entering ourselves. The macrocosm, the greater world, uniting with the microcosm, the little world of man. So here we go with new emotional beginnings, new states of being. Again, finding life's course, okay, very appropriate right after the spring equinox, feeling more on track, feeling more in tune with our spirituality. Ace is always new beginnings, cups being attributed to water deal with the emotions, spirit, and sense of life's course. So again, a time for spring cleaning, new beginnings, and as the week goes on, reflecting more deeply on where we're trying to go. Yes, that's right. The third and final card, the card for the end of the week, is the Queen of Cups. How very appropriate. A very soft-hearted, loving woman looking deeply within her heart for answers. This is that meditative state, that contemplative state that we need to go into to make the best, the most, out of this new energy, new exciting energy, that's coming into our lives. Now, other than the equinox, astrologically, there's not a lot going on. I mean, the moon will be in Pisces towards the end of the week, which is matching up real nicely with the Queen of Cups. And next Monday, the week from today, we are going to have a new moon in Aries. That's a different subject. We'll talk about that next week. But just know this, we do have more new energy coming up. This is a very neat time, very powerful time, and something to really look forward to and enjoy. Well, there you go. The blog blaze, you blaze with it. I appreciate your support. Many blessings unto you till next time. Thanks again.